So Beis Hashem, we're going to talk a little bit about the Makas. And specifically, once we get into the Makas, we're going to try to talk about this Rabbi Yudah Ignesim and Simonim, the Tzach Hadash Barachav. What's the Tzach Hadash Barachav? What do these things mean? Why are they broken down into these three groups? What's the what's going on here? So, to begin with, <coughs> to begin with, we have to understand like this: that the idea of the Makis. What's the idea of the Makis? First of all, just to note that the Torah actually doesn't. There's no word Makis in the Torah. The Torah doesn't say they're not called Makis, and they're not they're not called Aser. It's Aser is not called Ten Makis. It's from Chazal. Chazal, you know, there's Ten Makis. So the Zoya already says that the Ted Makis correspond to <coughs> to this to Asar Zamar, the Asar Zamaris, correspond to the ten patterns of creation. And uh, there's already a Psikta Rabasi, there's already a Madrash that says that the Ted Makis are connected to the Ten Dibris. So there is there is let's say the Asar Zamaris represents the cre- the creation. The utterance of creation, Asaras Adibris are the utterance of revelation, and in the process between the Asaras Adibris and Asar Mamaris, between this process, to get to get from Asaras Adibris, Asaras Adibris, they have to go through a process of Asar. Are you okay over there? You look at well, the trying to find the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no, no. <laughs> so now you're blocking somebody else. No. Oh. Okay. No. No? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then, um, then Asar Mamaris, there's the. Go like this. So, the, what's the difference between Mamaris and the Dibris? What's the difference between the, the utterance of creation and revelation? That Mamaris, the Mamaris are, are, are connected to creation, obviously. Um, and Asar Mamaris are connected specifically to Shem Alekim, right? And Shem Alekim is connected to Mamaris. But the Dibris are connected also to Shem Hashem. I should say that that's time, but that, that's connected not with the name of Hashem, the revealing of Hashem. And the difference also is that a Imra, a word, when you say you spoke to somebody, you would say, Ani dibarti yoto, I spoke with this person. So Dibur represents something that's personal. You want to say that the person said something, you would say, Hu amarli. Right? So... Dibur represents a type of speech that is intimate. Exactly. That's why Rumin Baber is a mecha bishuk in the Chazal. Dibur is connected to the idea of actually of Yichud. It's a euphemism for Yichud. Because Dibur means something that's personal. So it's revelation. The difference in creation and revelation is that revelation means that not only does Hashem create the world, not only is there there's a Ma'amar, so Hashem creates the world, but there's a Dibur means that Hashem actually has a relationship with the world. So there's a revelation of there is a revealing of of the koya haliki to a, a, a specific person that's receiving this revelation. So in order for the world to be refined on a very big level, in order for the, the creation and really consciousness to be refined to receive dibrois, they went through a process of makis. Okay, we call them makis, but they're not called makis, right? They, they went through a process of these asara, these ten events. And these ten correspond to the Sarasa Dibris and to Asar Mamaris. And through the process of the world being refined, the refining of creation allowed for the possibility of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the, the, the breaking out of these constrictions of Mitzrayim, of the, of the constrictions of Teva, of nature, because that's the whole idea of the Makas, where, where they were Nisan, Isis of Nisan. <coughs> Isis of Nisan means that there's something that's, a mirac- something that's miraculous. Because it was something that was miraculous, it broke the teva of creation, allowed for a higher revealing, higher revealing than the teva, because it was a higher revealing than the nature that allowed for for to be a revealing of Shem Hashem in a way that's going to actually be misyached. Ani Hashem lekech Hashem say Adam Hashem Moishel Leim Hashem speaks to Klal Yisrael speaks to Moishel. You following? So the the, the mock is, is a process of elevation of transformation of creation. Of the teva, it's the breaking open of the teva that allows for nature to have an experience of transcendence, which is the idea of dibur and a personal connection with with with, with creation. That's the, that's the structure. Now, in that structure itself, 
um, there's two ways how to map. Uh, let's say if you want, if you need to map the ten makas correspond to, let's say, to the ten mamaras. So the general way, or to the Asaras it was the general way that was understood, and this is the way the Maral reads it, and the Sadiq and all the others, and the Ari, you'll see soon, also reads it like this way, is that you start from the bottom up. Which means, let's say, you'll say that there's ten. So ten, obviously, is a number that's also connected to the ten spheres. Right? This is already the Zohar says, that the Saras and the Saras Makas correspond to the ten spheres. So when you're, you're mapping the Saras, the Makas against the spheres, how do you map How do you mapping them out? Do you start that dumb is so. Kessler, and then you go higher, and then to, and then, uh, I'm sorry, the dumb is, dumb is Malchus, and then you go to Yusoid and, and to Oid, and that's how you're going higher. Or do you start, no, the dumb is really Kessler, and then Tzvadeh is Chachma, etc. You're going lower. Now, the Maral reads it as higher, to, lower to higher, and that's the way, actually, the Arizal also learns it this way very clearly. I don't want to get into the Barichus, because it's not what I want to talk about, but in Priya Tzchayim Shar Chagamatzis Perik Zayin, that he he says Dam Oyle Gematia Eke Beribua. It's 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 the same Gematia of forty four Beribua, and therefore a Ma'ava Kotva Hikol the Malchus. So that's the that's connected to Malchus. Then Sfardeya is connected to Sheikh Dinim. Whatever Sfardeya is connected, the Malkim is connected to Yisoid. Yisoid the Malchus, and Kinim is connected to Hoy the Malchus. Kinim with Bishev. Yeah. And anyways, you're going up. That's that's the that's the Mahalach. This is the general understanding. You don't have it in the pages there. Because oh. uh, there's the part of what we have to say. I'm just, yeah, I'm just giving you an idea. What's the reverse? The first time I heard it, you go from the bottom up when the oh. spirit. Oh, wow. so, okay. So, so you, have to, you, have to, you have to. So I just want to say, Imagi Mishorim, Imagi Mishorim, which is, I think it's one of the only places. The only other place in the, in the Psikta, it actually. The Dasaras mm-hmm. Dibris are aligned with this, <coughs> that, that, that the Tamakis also from the top down. So Loi Hashem Lekecha is down. And then Lekim Lekim Acherim is Svadeya. And he brings Psukim. So in the Medish there's actually this 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 thing as well. And there's also, it's interesting, the Magim Meshorim. Why would the Spheres go in the I'll explain, I'll explain that part. Very, very, very simple. But I just want to Magim Meshorim, the Pashas Ve'era, Magim Meshorim is from Rabbi Yosef Kaira. So he writes about his name, Yusuf the Rosa Maya, Yisak the Madama, and then Yusuf the Chachma Osset Svadeya, and Yusuf the Bina Havekinim. Again, the same thing. So it's going from top top down. Now the very simple reason why it's going from bottom up, because normally when you say Vayhiyor, that's that's Chachma. Reishis Namer Maimerhu. So you have the Saras Sar Mamaras. It's always going from top to bottom. Um, so you start off with. Uh, that Beresh is Bar Lakim, Beresh is Dama Maimerhu. So that's the Beresh, Beresh is Kesser. Okay, so that's like it's the un, the unspoken Maimer. That's a Maimer Nister that the Zohar calls. Why? Because it's so, it's it's like the, it's like the, 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 the Kuda of Comets. Kmoitz Pich Meladaber. You can't speak about it. It's Kesser, it's higher. Or, or Karas. It's, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't talk about it. In comments like uh, huh? that, which is. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, it fits us. So it's close then. That's it's closed, it's quiet. So this is the idea of so it starts off from from Kesser and then by So you understand it's going it's going lower. This is the way generally it's structured. The reason why the general, uh, according to Dari, and then according to Maral, and then according to all the Sadiq forward, mo, most Mishnah Sivan, everyone writes the same thing, is the reason why it's going from down up is because it's a process of breaking. In other words, the, in the Maimoris and the Dibrois, that's a revelation. So what becomes revealed first? The higher. Let's say you're shining a light. So first is the higher light, and less intense, less intense, then it comes to the lower intense. But if you're talking about transforming something, meaning you have to break open one thing, you break open Malchus, then you break open Yusoid, right? Until you reach the, the Madrega, to Kesa. So therefore, you're moving from the bottom top. And this is also Bechal in the general Seder, of the Seder night, there's, there's also there's two different ways of understanding that you start from the you can start from Kesa, you go to lower, or you go from low, higher to lower. You go from higher to lower, lower. Huh? Yeah, it's canvas and lower, it's the same thing. So in other words, what's the shy the shaila that you mam shakhir or you're elevating the kale? You understand? That's that's yeah. the difference. So when you're talking about when you're saying, yeah, if you're mam shakhir, then you're mam from higher from lower. That's why there's gonna be godless in the beginning of the Seder. 
which means that you're going from higher. But then on the other hand, in the Dalit Koisis, there's going to be also a Mahalach that you get from the lower Koisis to the highest Koisis, which is the highest Koisis, like the, the Koisis Hamishi, which is a Chidish of Nefesh. So you're also going from higher from lower. But the Nakuda is, and the point is that what you're doing is that you're, it's a process of breaking something open. So you're slowly cracking this, this clip open, this clip open. We have to understand what the clip is. But you're breaking something open, like a, a, a new level of consciousness, a new level, a higher level of understanding, a higher level of understanding, until you finally have the understanding. Now, this is generally to see the Aseris HaMakas, the 10 Makas in one, in one structure. Then there's other ways to look at the Makas. You can, you can parallel them five to five. Five against five. They also work very nicely. The same thing, yeah, like you have the Aseris HaDibras. So you have an Eichid and you have the, the Aseris HaDibras in the two Luchas. You can also compare them. So you can do the same thing also. That the, 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 it works the same way. Don't say the Kinem Arav Deva Shechin. Don't say the Kinem Arav Deva Shechin. Shechin is like boils connected to Dom, which is blood, both connecting to blood. The next one is uh, is it's Sardea, which is water. The next one is Shechin is Barad, is water. So you can do the same the same structure. Have you heard of and Simonim? Have you heard give Simonim? And we have a whole full page in the Gemara Menachah is why you know the Nisman Simonim. But the kids have you heard of and Simonim because the Mishnah says when the Mishnah talks about uh, different things of the the, the the dimensions of the Lechem upon him. And the Shtei Alechem, so Rabbi Yehuda gave a simon in the Mishnah. The Mishnah says over there that Rabbi Yehuda, 15 lines from the top, the Mishnah says, Rabbi Yishloi Tito, she says, Zayin Dalad, Zayin, Zayin Dalad, Dalad Yud Hei Zayin, which is the dimensions of the Lechem Ponim Shnei Lechem. That's, that's the whole word that I brought on this whole page. Is this to show that Rabbi Yehuda Nesim Tzumanim is, we just wanted to make a Dafki Mara, so we should feel like you're learning something. That the, the whole idea of the, of the Nesim Tzumanim is Gepashtas, because Rabbi Yehuda was nice and Simon. This is a Mahalach of Rabbi Yehuda. Then Kedesh Le'idita, a person should make a mistake. Like Rashi writes there. A person should make a mistake, so you know the Simon. But we must say there's something more than that. Not only Nisim of Simon means... Not only Nisim of Simon means that it's just a marker to remember it, but it seems to be that um, there's something about dividing the Makis into Tzach Adash Bachav. So there's a different way of dividing the Makas. The Makas can be divided into three three different categories. Correct. There's the Makas that connected to the, the, the Tzach, the first three Makas, the second three Makas, the third three Makas. So Makas B'choyim is those are capped, like, you know, it's called a thing. But the Tzach Adash Bachav is not just the division to remember, because you can do you can do that in many different ways, but it's actually, it's an idea of... Uh, of term of to uh, some, some type of soy to this idea of what this of what these are in a similar way to Chabad. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, so something similar to that, correct? Mm. Uh, something very similar to that. So again, th- this is like very interesting because because a lot of this does uh, and not tomorrow, but others form bring down it's uh, many form the Sasemis, the Shemesh a lot of bring down that's the difference between that the seven Makis happen in Vayera. Mm-hmm. And three happen in boy that corresponds to Chacham Bin Adas. Yes, and therefore, it's it's Nivdal, it's a separate parsha versus the seven midas. And then you start it's like from Machos to, to Chesed, so you're going for the first seven, and then Chacham Bin Adas, you go into the second the second parsha, which will have in parsha's boy and three other markers. But that's the same thing. Chabad Chagas Nei. So, um, <coughs> so the Avudram, if you look inside the Avudram. The Avudram basically says, the Avudram brings down, it's from the other Rishayim, the Dabra Avudram is from the later Rishayim, 1200, 1300, so one is that they're just, just to tell you the Seder, that the reason why the, it says the Tzachat Ashbachav, again, this is not learning that there's actually a deeper understanding of the Tzachat Ashbachav, just saying that Tzachat Ashbachav, the reason why it says in the Seder, because if you look in the Psukim, in Tillon, it says a little bit different. So you can say, okay, maybe it was not, it was no, it was no so, such a clean Seder. So we hear the same Simonim that he gave it in this Simon exactly. Do we find this uh, concept any, anywhere else in Papa Yudin and Simon? No, so I'm saying, what do you mean? Do we give Simonim? That's anywhere, I'm anywhere else? Uh, it's the only thing that I. That no, I, that's what I, that's what I brought the Gemara. Rabbi Yudin is like Simon Simonim. Without the Gemara, no, Rabbi Simonim. Only place. Uh, in, 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 no, Rabbi Yudin also gives Simonim all over Gemara. Rabbi Yudin. Oh, he does? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Rabbi Yudin, that's his, that's his, that's his thing. Because remember, the one Torah Shabbat, the other Shabbat. So you say, give us a sin. Also, the Gemara also brings that a lot of times. I said, so you're in the Torah. The Gemara says that's how you remember the Simonim. I thought there was a kasha between that Simonim. No, 
I just want to say the Chalik Yehuda next month tomorrow. But I, 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 it's like a Biyach and I was not the uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it? What? What does it have to do? What does it have to do? So in other words, you could say two things. You could. So why is it asking the Gemara the question? Like why is it getting? No, the Gemara doesn't ask the question. The, the reason why they gave a simon in the Gemara, let's just say, a peep shot. The reason why you give a simon is so you pass to remember. But then the question is, why dafka of the tzach of Ashbachav? Why did you divide it into four and three words okay. hmm. or two words? Why that dafka the tzach adash bachav? Gather there's a there's a there's a Atosis Yomtiv. It's quoted over here. Atosis Yomtiv writes in the Sechta Savas, and over here it's the third the third thing. Machen yirle the kreisim the tzach adash bachav. Listen, ki lo kadosh bachamu aimer. That the tzach adash bachav actually means something, and it means shemachatik kesh edes ba'avachas. That the tzach adash b'chav means that 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 Hashem cuts down, cuts down and 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 tramples like the sword, uh, the, the 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 cutting sword. That the tzach adash, this is the bet toisiyam does, and he says first of all phonetically it sounds the same thing. The tzach adash b'chav can be mechatech adash b'chav b'chav as cherev. And then he says also three, you can change the letters, manipulation of the letters, you can get, come to some type of uh, connection by changing different sounds of the letters, the tzaddik changes, the ches, whatever, different ways of changing the letters, that you can get to this word. Okay, this is, but you see that there was, a, there was an Indian, there was an idea that something, the tzak adash b'achav means something. Another thing is that the gematria, the total gematria of the, the tzak adash b'achav is 501, I don't know, it's 501, which is one less than obviously 502. And 502 is the total number of 147, 180, 175, which is yeah. years of the Elvis, right? So uh, Rum lived to 175, Yitzhak to 180, and Yaakov to 147. So 502 is, this is also this is, this is, this is like a, uh, a remez. That, you know, if you have one more, then, you know, it's not at the Tzachadash Machab. We still don't understand what this is. The 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 Tanchuba marker in the era shows that this is not just a the uh, Tzachadash Machav is just a remembering thing, but the, the Tanchuba actually says that the Sarah the Sarah Marcus called Kukis the tweaking the Tzachadash Machav in the Mata Aram in the Mata Moshe when Abisha told Moshe to take the to Mata to take Matcha Mata Biyatcha to take the stick in your hand so on the stick itself it said the Tzachadash Machav. Which means the Tzachadash Bachav, the division of these three into these three categories is a very essential point to understanding the process of the Makas itself. So I just want to do something very quickly and show you how this works in the Psukim, which is very interesting. We understand what the Oymik of what's going on. So we understand that the Nukud of the Makas or that the point of the Makas or to bring some type of opening of the state of the world in the in the in the, in the, in the way the world exists in the Mitzrayim, which is that it's connected to some type of constriction. There has to be a breaking open so there can be by Dabar Shalom or there can be Dasar Sadigus. Okay. But if you look at so what was the what was the intention of the Makas? What was the Kabbalah of the Makas? What was the Kabbalah of the Makas? Now you can say Kabbalah of the Makas or okay, so the Egyptians are to punish. But if that's the sh- if that's the case, then okay, so do one maka, uh, you know, max b'chayis and shalom yisrael, and then the story. Well, what's the dafke that it goes? It's it's a process that there's ten and it goes through a, a stages. What is actually the intention of the makas? If you look at the psukim in the Torah, the Torah actually says different reasons. What's the intention of the makas? For example, before before the makas says that. Venasati is Yodim Mitzrayim, Vetsesi is Mitzvah, and Ami Sobin is Hamet Sayim, and Shvatim Udaylim. The Yodim Mitzrayim, Kani Hashem. That the intention of the Makis were that Mitzrayim should know that Ani Hashem. So Mitzrayim represents this idea of this constriction, yeah, this massive rule. And what should be the, the awareness is Yodim Kani Hashem. That the awareness of the of Akadosh Baruch Hu. This is what the Possek and Zayim, Perik Zayim, Possek Kani. Yodim Sayim, Kani Hashem. That's one thing. So Ani Hashem, Ani Hashem is very straightforward. Ani Hashem. <clears throat> then, 
Pasik says another thing. Pasik says. Pasik says. Okay. The Pasik says like this. We place me who has added Goishan Esher Ami Oimedola. During the mock, is going to be a state where I'm going to make a separation between Goishan and the rest of Mitzrayim. Now, the Pasik says, Vilto Yes Shom Ariv. There's not going to be any Ariv uh, in, in this place. It's wild animals. Leman, Teda Kiani Hashem. Beker of Aretz. That mm. I am Hashem Beker of Aretz. There's, there's Ani Hashem. And there's Ani Hashem Beker of Aretz. So Beker of Aretz means in the midst, in the midst of the land. Another, another Madriga. Then what's, the, what's the, the next thing over here? The next is another Pasuk that says that um, the Pasuk says Okay. Yeah, from the before. So if you look at the you look at the psukim, you'll see like this. Ke'en kamoni. That would also give the possible to the state ke'en kamoni. 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 You look at the markers, we'll see something else. So you look like this. It's something so very. It's, it's Tess Yudalad. Tess Yudalad? Oh. Ki Pama says, Anisha, I'm going to give you a little bit of a little Ki ain't come on, you become a lot. Ain't come on. So, Ani Hashem, Ani Hashem, be care of ours. Ki ain't come on. This is one thing, but if you look actually, if you look at the makis, something very interesting. I just want to show you a pattern and how Rabbi Yehuda understood. Where did Yehuda get this idea? We're saying that the Tzachad Ashbachav is not only a division. This is for an acronym from Rabbi Simonim, but it's a division of three types of makis. There's one that's called the Tzach, one is called Dash, one is Bachav, and all the Rishonim already and the Maral, all the Rishonim that want to understand what's the difference between these three. So if you look at every single, let's divide them into three, and you'll understand why they divide into three. The Pasuk, when it says that the Ebesha tells Moshe Rabbeinu to go about, about Dom. So what's the Pasuk say? The Pasuk says like this. Um, listen to the Pasuk. Lecha par baboiker. You should go to par in the morning. And he goes to the, he goes into the water. He goes to the water every morning to the Nile. So Dom, David tells him, you should go in the morning, and you should warn Pare that he should take Kali Sada and Sain. Okay, this is Dom. What does it say by Sadeya? By Sadeya, it says like this. That uh, Hashem tells him to go warm Moshe. He's missing one thing. He doesn't tell him in the morning. So the first one he says in the morning, go and warn him. The second one, he doesn't. He tells him to go warn him, but it, he doesn't tell him when. So that's Sardaya. What happens with Kinin? What happens with Kinin? Emerald iron, 
The taste might have a hachas offer in our eyes, but he'll kill me all the time. No warning, no time. Kin. Now, if you look at this, you follow that you understand that was a pattern. Because what happens by Dever? That's what they kill him. This is the so the first three. The first one is the morning warning, no warning. The second of the second, the fourth one says. Which is exactly the same structure that you had by Dom. That's Arif. What happens by Dever? No morning, exactly. So this is Dever. Shin. No warning, no time. Is it? This is this is what happens exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you expect to happen in Barad? Morning. You understand? It's exact same structure, and therefore, when 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 Rabbi Yehuda said it wasn't aha. Okay, let's divide it into three groups. It was on. It was understood. If you read the psukim very well, that there are actually three groups. They th- represent three groups. And not only do they represent three groups, they represent an idea that's being expressed through all the groups. Because we said that the psukim say three reasons why the makis are going to occur. If you actually look at the psukim, you'll see that the psukim actually tell us which makis are going to show what. The first makis was what? The Yodim Sam Kini Hashem. When is that warning? When is the Ebi Shatam Moshe of Kini Hashem? Before Dom. What is the Ebishatel Mar Dom Sade Akinim? What is the Ebishatel before Ariv? The other Shem Kain Kemoy Bekar of Arts. Bekar of Arts. Kinia Shem Bekar of Arts. Kinia Shem Bekar of Arts. Then I will be Bekar of Arts. So the second group is Ania Shem Bekar of Arts. The first group is Ania Shem. The second group is Ania Bekar of Arts. And that's when, the, that's when it's actually introduced. The third group is Kain Kemoy. So Kain Kemoy, and when is that before? Before Borod. So the same structure, there's a different warning. And a different way, David Shira says, this is what's going to happen. This is what the kavan of these, these three things are going to happen. So, there's a, sequence of events. there's a sequence of events, and they represent three higher awarenesses, one over the next. And when you finally get your first first three, the second three, the third three, then you're finally going to get to the highest level of awareness, and then you can actually leave Mitzrayim. Then Mitzrayim just becomes Nizbatim completely. And that's the Bechoy Mitzrayim dies. Bechoy Mitzrayim, if you, if you understand, the Bechoy Mitzrayim is what it also represents. The Bechoy Mitzayim means the Bechoy is like the epitome of what Mitzayim represents. Because the Bechoy Mitzayim, they, 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 they worshipped the world of hierarchy. In the, in the world of hierarchy is, is if you're born a free person, you're free. If you're born a slave, you're a slave. And if you're born a, a god, then you're a god. You're born a child of God, you're a child of God. That's why they believed that every Bechoy was a sacred person. Every even a bechor behema that represented the sacredness of the hierarchy. So the the break and that's why the beginning that the Eibush tells Moshe Rabbeinu beni bechor Yisrael that the Eibush says that this is the whole project of Yitzchak and Zion is to break the that originally by the already by the by the snad the Eibush tells Moshe Rabbeinu that eventually there's going to be makas bechoris because and then there's going to be a redeeming of a bechor ani bechor Yisrael beni bechor Yisrael which means it's going to there's going to be a new understanding of, of what a bechor means. This this concept of bechor will be will be destroyed, it will be it'll, it'll, it'll fall apart, and a new thing will emerge, a higher level of bechor. So these three things, there's a lot of this interesting little uh, shtiklach over here, but these three things, for example, if you take this is this is already brought down. Why can't we categorize them in terms of like all the ones that were in the morning, all the ones that were. No time, okay, we'll power. see because the pasuk actually says that each one was introduced for another reason. The psukim that the pasuk says Kenny Hashem before the first three. The pasuk says be careful it's after the first before the second, before the second group. So then you say that's the intention of it, and before the third group was ain't kamayni. So we have to understand why these three things. So, in the, in the, uh, the last pasuk, the first parvalini, the adatayim was supposed to be rachak Hashem, who are written by Shemayni Mal, Kenny Hashem. Uh, yeah, come on, it's the same thing. So there's this guy that there's a lot of such terror. Like, what is the difference between these three things? For example, 
it just it, this is stam also cute. But if kinim shchina if you place the wor words on top of each other, which is the third of each group, they actually spell each other out. If you read them as uh, 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 as, as in a line, as I don't know how to vertically, right? Chaf shin ches is chayshech, and then shin ches nun is shchin. You see that? Then kinim. So you actually shin chayshech. If you actually place those three letters. Three, mm -hmm. the three of the last mm -hmm. makas on top of each other, they actually spell out each other. Thank so this, this is from our God's mind, this is brought down. Okay. So what, what is this division of three? So the Pashtas, there's a lot of different ways of understanding it. The Vudram says that it's different between makas aretz, makas with kriyos, and makas avid. That the tzach and ashbachav, the first one, or like the Gro writes it more clear, that it has to do, the, fir the first three makas have to do with things that exist under the earth coming from the earth, mm. like from the water and Sade, it's coming from the on, on the ground. The second three are the Shekhin is coming from things that are on the Avera Oilam, on the on the surface of the earth. And and Bar Abakhoishek represent things that came from from heaven. Something that's coming from the from the higher level. <coughs> um, this is also the Maral writes is uh, that uh Dachtoinim and the the Makas Orav is Bakal Oilam Shala Shekhin and Bishamaib. Okay, so it's the same idea. Now, and also the, if you look at the Shibala like at the next page, it's difference between actually no hold on hold on hold on hold on for that a second. So the Kli Yaker and the Abarbanel, I should say really the Abarbanel and the Kli Yaker because the Abarbanel the Kli Yaker takes from the Abarbanel. Um, write about this this these psukim, and the, the the let's read it. That Koyim Hashem Zayis Tadi Kani Hashem. Most of the number of makir yishoyin should say that the tzach. There's there's the awareness keni Hashem. Chay makir yishoyin should say that dash mantei keni Hashem bekerav arutz. That's the keni Hashem bekerav arutz. That's the second for the second group of makas. It's ani Hashem bekerav arutz. Chay no makir yishoyin should say that ba'achav nem ravur teda ki ain kemoyin bechal arutz. So right, so you have the three the three intentions of the makas show itself up before these three groups. So he says. Because Pare is Kirch of Ramel Hashem, Eloi Dati Hashem. So the first one is Man Dei Kani Hashem. The second one, Man Tishi Hashem Kam Nitzu Kam Nitzu Gif Lashvalim Ozani Kani Hashem Kerev Aretz. Ashlish Duchel Gichol Hashem Lemish Eni Chol Hashem Sateva Cholikei Dats Mitzi Hashem. Let's say it a little bit different, not like a clear actor says clearly, but let's say it a little different. Difference. The first three makas is the idea of Mitzi Hashem, the existence of Hashem. The second three makas is the hashkacha. The third three makas is enkamoni, is achtos Hashem. Mitzias Hashem, hashkacha, and achtos. What is mitzias Hashem and hashkacha and achtos? Let's understand what the, the, these these things have. So if you look also in the in the in the, in the makas, the the makas are 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 inflictions on. On, on constructs that the ancient Egyptians or people that lived in, in a pagan world believed were deities or gods or had koyach. So the 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 the, the, the maka on 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 dam, which is the maka on on um, on on the Nile, right? Dam so they were all from the Nile, all connected to the to Nilus, is. The Nile River, to the ancient Egyptians, was not only a source of sustenance, but the Nile was basically it was a god. Well, Hapi was what it was called. Whatever it was, it was an ancient. Why was it? Why did they consider the Nile a god? Because all their nurturing and all their nourishment came from the Nile. If the Nile dried up, there's no food. No food, they die. So the Nile was considered the, the source of life. Um, what actually happened in the Nile? And this goes back a little bit. A little bit to what the Torah of Balsham in the beginning, that it's very quickly over there, where the Balsham talks about that the water turned into blood, that the water, the dam turned into blood. So when dam turns into blood, what that means is that instead of having a dam, it becomes dam, which means that if you don't have the aleph, which is the aluf if you don't have the, the awareness of the aleph, then what you see becomes blood. What is the idea of, of blood? Blood. At that point, now blood can be the could be chayas also could be, be life force, but what happened over there was actually blood became death, 
because all the fish died. The fish died, and this is connected also to Sadeh, the fish that Sadeh rose out of the Nile. So this, and then became Shechin. All of this has to do with a breaking open of the klipa of the reliance on the Nile. So you, these are people that worship the Nile. And whatever the worship is, this is just a, an idea. So you're, these are people saying, okay, this is my source of nourishment. This is the source of my life. This, what the Torah is saying is that if you believe this, this tzura, this form, is a source of your life, you're cutting this off from the source of life. And therefore, this thing itself, that is supposed to be water, actually becomes blood. Whatever that is, if let's say you say money, and I'll just give an example. If I say this thing is it, is an end in itself, it becomes an idol. If it becomes an idol, instead of giving me life and allowing me to live, it becomes actually the source of my destruction. Right? So that's, instead of being my she'elam sof, infinite water, which is that it's constantly giving and it's connected to the makara chaim, when it, the moment I worship this thing, it actually transforms into something that's dumb. So the 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 the, 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 the maka of dam is the is the showing that dam that the water this thing in itself is not the source vaharaya this is why it's just saying that there's actually a higher force all all the dam is saying this is let's understand this a little bit all the maka is saying is that you think this is it really there's something that's higher and that's really the source. But if you were an Egyptian, just think if you were an Egyptian person, I, I, you don't have to think like Egyptian, but let's say you're even a modern person, and you think, okay, so it's not it's not this thing, so it's something else. The other thing itself could also just be another stronger thing. All you're saying is that it's not this, it's something stronger. But all right, this stronger thing destroyed the, the, the smaller thing. So you're just saying that there's a bigger God. right? So all you're saying is, Ani Hashem. You're saying that there is an Hashem. You're saying that there's something that's transcendent, but you're not saying that the smaller thing doesn't have an independent existence. You're just saying that this in the, this smaller thing, the smaller power of the world, is is dependent on a higher power. Right? We'll say it's it's not yet Achtus Hashem, it's Mitzias Hashem. That there is a Mitzias that you worship Teva, you worship the nature. Here you're saying no, that you can worship something that's even beyond the nature. But it doesn't say that nature doesn't have its own independent power. It's just not. It's it's a power that's dependent on something else. But there, but 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 in its essence, you can also worship that thing itself if you don't want to be connected to the higher source as well. Like in in the, in the pantheon of let's say some type of mythology that you say, okay, I don't want to worship this. I want to worship the bigger God. Okay, but that's income. That's this. That's this Yomu Keni Hashem. So that's that's what happened with the first the first three makas. And the first three makas, the reason why it has to be three. Three makas. So this has to do with moyach lev and kaved or moyach lev and machshav de mamaisa. Has to go through all three processes. But it's also the concept in order to break something and create something new. You need three. So, on, and for example, in Chazal, you'll say that there's machleik between Rebbe and Rishon Gamaliel. If two pump, if if a chazaka happens through two times, or a chazaka happens through three times. Right? Are you familiar with this? No, no people say a chazaka is shalosh palm. That's the chazabat, right? You need, you need three years, three th- things to get to get a chazaka. So three times, oh, three times over creates a chazaka. What's the swar of a chazaka for two times? Like this. If you have a normal pattern of events, this is the seichel of chazaka, the, the, the logic of chazaka. If you have a normal pattern of event, and then you have something that's, that deviates from that pattern, all you say then is that that was an abnormality. Right? This something is, you have a shoyer, that's a tom. And then the shoyer be, that gores. So you say, okay, that was once it happened, some shigas. It, it, it was not its normal course. It's an accident, right? One time, it's chat to ami, it's not going to happen again. That's the nature when you say something happens once. When you say something happens twice, it you can't, you can no longer call this animal a tom because it shows it's already happened twice. Kiva Shoshana and, and, and a person does something over again, it's showing that you're not the previous. But this this is the argument. Does it mean that you become, is the new reality set in or it doesn't set in? So two times is not just an accident. It's already a repetition of a pattern. And and, and Rabbi Shimon Galil says, but in order to create a new pattern, you need three times. You're following the, 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 the Svar of Chazaka? One is one is abnormality. Twice means it's no longer the past. Three times it means it's the new. So if if the point 
of the Makis was to get to, to under, understanding Ke'ani Hashem. Right? That was the first understanding of Ke'ani Hashem. In order for this Ani Hashem to actually penetrate, it actually happened three times. First time is like, okay, what just happened? Second time is, oh, this is not the way it usually works. Oh, three, Ani Hashem, there's a higher power. That's the first gather of the Makis. The second, this is the Tzach. The second peer of, of, of the, of the Makis, which is the Tzach Adash of the Rosh So an Ariv Dever is the first time that the Torah actually said that for Yiflesi, that's going to be a difference between the Eretz Goshen and the Eretz Mitzrayim. Now we know from Chazal, if you, but it doesn't say in the Pesukim. If you really know from Chazal that the Dom was a Dom for 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 Mitzi, but it was my for Israeli, right? This is what Chazal say. But if you look in the Pesukim itself, this is the Eben Ezra says it's also Pshat in Pesukim. Look in Pesukim, it doesn't say that. It says the whole, all the water turns into uh, turns into Dom. Where does the Torah mark and say the Hiflesi? I'm going to make a distinction between groups of people, between the oppressors and the oppressed. Where does the Torah say that? By Arav and Dever. That, that the Arav is going to happen Dafka and Mitzrayim, it's not going to happen in Goshen. The same thing as Dever is going to happen Dafka and Mitzrayim, it's not going to happen in Goshen. Shechin, which is the third Maka, which is, which is the third Maka, doesn't actually say that there was Vihiflesi, but it says that the, the pirate wasn't, no one was able to stand in front of, and stand to Moshim, which means that no one ever, no one knew. So can, what does the Pasuk say? The third, the, third the, of the, the third of the second set, which is, okay, so, we look in the Pasuk, so if you look again, if you look, Samti Fidus ben Ami ben Amecha Lamacher. Samti Fidus ben Ami Lamecha means I'm making a distinction. This is in Arim. The same thing also in Dever. Um, Right, this is Dever. And uh, the next pasuk is about Shechin. That the Chatum were not able to sign in Moshe, which means if you follow the pattern, there was a chiluk between Kol Yisrael and Mitzrayim. But even if you don't follow the same pattern, the Mitzrayim never knew that because Lo Yachul Am Lifnei Moshe. In other words, by Dever and Shechin, by Dever, Arav and Dever, they saw Miknet Zoyin, this certain were dying, and certain were not dying. The Miknet Yisrael were not dying. And, and, but by the third one, they weren't able to, they weren't able to see Yisrael, that's what I said. So they didn't know. So they, they flee. And they didn't leave their home. They didn't leave their home, that's what it says, right? They Am Lefei Moshe. So they didn't so In other words, let's just understand what the Oymik is. The, what's the second group? The second group is supposed to be Ke'ani Hashem B'Karev Arts. That's Ashkacha. What does Ashkacha mean? Ashkacha means that I actually know what's going on. Not only the Sani Hashem, but I'm going to make a distinction, the Hifli, in the Samti Ftus. That's Ashkacha. Ashkacha means I'm making a distinction. I'm saying, okay, you, you, this, this is something you do, you deserve, you created, that's what happens to your life. And to someone else, it's going to happen differently. Right? So that's the, the, the Hafla and the separation of the Ftus is the other side, the care of arts. What is, what is Kimoini? What is the idea of Kimoini? Kemoni is really what we have to get because that's that's the achdus Hashem. What's the achdus Hashem? If one power, so let's let's imagine this: there's in the ancient way of thinking, and unfortunately people still think this way. You think there's this power and this power, and then the shaila is which which is a stronger power? Which side do you want to want to side with? So you have the you have the you have the power that turns blood into water. Uh, water into blood, and you have the kayak that's, that's the water of the Nile. Okay, now you said kayak that turns the, the, the blood and the water into blood is a kayak that's even stronger than the water itself. Okay, it means this is stronger than this. What happens in the in the third group, which is Enkemoni, is the Achtasem. Achtasem means that when two forces are going to work simultaneously, that shows that it's a force that's beyond both of them, that includes both of them. Not that it's destroying. In other words, the fire will be fire. The water will be water, or ice will be ice. But the fire and ice are going to come together. That's showing that it's not a power that's stronger than the fire and stronger than the ice. Because it's stronger than the fire, that will destroy the fire. Stronger than the ice, it will destroy the ice. It's a kayak that can be soival and bring these two afachim together. That's Ein Kamayni. That's the, that's the Nois Afachim. That's the, the, the maintenance of the opposites. That's the Metzias Hashem. If you want to understand what's the, what's the kavana, what's the intention of, of the Makis is not only, again, in three stages, not only in three stages, three times, 
not only Ani Hashem, not only Hashem does Ashkocha, but there's absolute Achtz Hashem. There's only one Koyach. And how do we see that there's only one Koyach revealed in this world? When it's a Nois Afachim. Where do you see the Nois Afachim? You see the Nois Afachim by Barad, clear. By Arba is a shtikl tzarachi in how you see the Nois Afachim, but in the Drashim you do see Nois Afachim, because it says in Aretz that it was a shtikl choshech and it blocked the sun, it was Kali Salvo's Ar, there's Makaris for this. And the choshech is clear. That means that the whole means that it was liked by choshech. Doesn't mean that there was choshech in one place, and to the other people that there was no choshech, it was automatically light. No, there was the whole bnei yisrael oymim shloisa. There was actually a light that was shining. The same, the same, the same oil that came down, the same shefa that came down into this world created two paradoxical things simultaneously that were experienced by two different people differently. For one person, this was experienced as oil, and one person, this was experienced as choyshech. The Chobani Yisrael Ovim Mishwaisim was part of the Makas of Makas Choyshech. What's that Madrega? That's the Madrega, that's the Noisa Fachim that happens, these two things. So, but again, so the Tzach, Abdash, Ba'achav is not only an idea that it's 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 a, it's a division into three things just for an acronym and for another Ashtavis, the Noisa Simonim, but the Tzach, Adash, Ba'achav is trying to explain us how these three things are revealed into this world. Of Ein Kemoni, of Ani Hashem, Ein Kemoni, and 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 Achtz Hashem. So so, Mitzias Hashem, Hashkachas Hashem, Hashkachas Hashem, Hashem Baruch Hu, and Achtz Hashem. That's the third thing. Could, could that be Yotzer or Uvari Chayshe? Avad, that's that's exactly Yotzer or Uvari Chayshe, because that's against the Zoroastrian. I don't know if you know this. It was that that tefillah was created against against the Zoroastrians. But what's, but, uh, what's the last one? Uh, the Chorus. How is that? So, Makat Chorus is Nichol Levi. First of all, Makat Chorus is, is, is Mamash Tash. Because Makat Chorus is, is a death to the Bukhar and the birth of the Bukhar and the Bukhar Yisrael. Mm -hmm. the same. It's Nagos of Viradwa. It's Mamash the same. Chaim and Mother. The Chaim, the Mother's the one, created the Chaim for the other. Why did your turn after the Zoroastrian? There used to be a group of people who used to say that there were, two, there were two forces in the universe there's the force of light and the force of darkness. And in the Zman Chazal, this is not, it's not very popular. The Yazidis in Iraq are Zoroastrians. I don't know if you know the Yazidis are, I don't know if the Iraqis, but it's, yeah. it's a very small group. It's, it's a very, it used to be one of the most popular religions in the world, in the ancient right. world. The Zoroastrians basically had a god of light and a god of darkness. And Yotz Ur Baruch Hoyshech, Oyz Shalom Vayis Akoyl, that's what we say in the Posting Yeshaya, it says Yotz Ur Baruch Hoyshech, Oyz Shalom Vayis Avoy Ra. Chazal changed it in Lush Natfil, the Vayis Akoyl. Because they wanted to say that the Yotz Ur and the Vayir Hoyshech, the, 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 the one that creates the Yotz Ur. And the voyeur of the choyshech, the light and the darkness, Melech Memis Umachai, is is voyeur Sakoil who created everything. That's why we say Melech Memis Umachai, not Melech Machai. You're talking about Chizim Mesim. You say no, Melech Memis Umachai. The they Melech is a Memis Umachai. There's two separate forces. This is what actually happened to Acher. If you want to know what what it really happened, it became a Zerasian. That's what actually happened. He saw two different two different two different forces. Another chilek that you see between these these between the the Tzach and Ashbachav. Is like it's brought down the I like it, but again, if you can read the psukkah, you can see this very clearly. Is that the first, in general, the first dam to the akinim is by iron. Iron akoyin does it. Aide iron bedam. Ksiv emerl iron benot yisyadcha. B'mitzvah emerl iron not yisyadcha. B'kinim emerl iron, right? And arib dever shchin is pomal yisayf yisayf pomal yisayf. It's mix. It's a mix. It's a mix between both of them. Ba'achav aide moisha. In other words, the difference between the Tzach Hadash Vachav, very simple, is the first group is iron, the second group is a mix, the third group is Moshe. So it's evolving. Why is Moshe the Moshe, the person, the, the instrument that brings down this Metziah Hashem, this Ashgach Hashem, and then this Achtas Hashem? Why is Moshe... The person that brings down the Achaz Hashem. Because why is Moshe? Moshe, in Moshe, Mem Shin He, you have this from Sefer Tzioni. Mem Shin also the Shalak that brings it down. Mem Shin He, if you take the letters Mem Shin He and you do the fullness of Mem Shin He, right? So Mem Mem Shin Yud Nun He Aleph. So let's do the, the letters that fill in the name, right? You have Me'ayin. So Moshe, the letters Moshe, the, the, the filling letters of Moshe is Me'ayin, comes from Me'ayin. So Moshe comes from the beginning of Chachma, Ma'ayim Timotze, right? He comes from the Ma'ayim Mishisu. Moshe comes from the Madregas Ayim. And because Moshe comes from the Madregas Ayim, 
Therefore, Moshe comes from the Degas Chachma, and because he comes from the Degas Chachma, Moshe is the instrument for miracles. Because what is something, this is what I'll never write in the entire that, that what's the idea of Moshe Rabbeinu? Moshe Rabbeinu is that, that why is the Moshe, why is Moshe, that it's the same Larinu. That when it says in the Pasuk, it's the same we don't, we don't see our miracles. Shat is really, the Altarebbe says, really, you could, see, you could see miracles. The reason why you're not seeing miracles is because you're not Ayin. If you'd be in a Madrega Ayin, then you could create miracles. The reason why you can't create miracles is because you're, just, you're stuck in your yesh, you're stuck in your, in your nature. But Moshe Rabbeinu, what was the Nikud of Moshe Rabbeinu? Moshe Rabbeinu was Bechinus Ayin. The kids were Bechinus Ayin, he was able to reveal the, mir- the miraculous. That's Moshe Me'ayin. Also, also, if you look at the name Moshe, it's also brought down in Sifra Kabbalah, that Ari talks about this, and everyone talks about it. Moshe is also Kel Shakai. That the Gematria of Moshe is Kel Shakai. So, so, what's, so what's Kel Shakai? So the Balar Kech writes, it's Soi Birazia, the Sefer from the Balar Kech, from the Erlum Kabbalah, Matam of Yehuda Chosid, Sefer called Soi Birazia. And over there he writes that, uh, that the, the letters, also the Milui, so the milui is the birth of those letters of Shin Dalad Yud. So Shin is Shun Yud Vav. So the milui of that is Yud, uh, Yud Nun. It's Yud Nun, it's 60. Dalad is Dalad Lamatov. The milui of Dalad is Lamatov, which is 430. Yud is Yud Vav Dalad. The milui of Yud Vav of Dalad da, da, is 10. So together the number is 500. What's 500? Puruvu. That the, the Gematria Puruvu is 500. That's why Zachar is 248. That's 200 Ramach And the cave of the Gemara says Bukhar has. Nation of base base uh, which is connected in total is five hundred because the mitzvah pruvu is a zakhar akeva according to the das base hill. And this is what the this is what this is what the this is what the sefer akeva brings down. In other words, what legainly amenu. Every time you find in the Torah this birth, when the Torah wants to talk about birth, there's a reveal on kel shakai. When Abish wants to tell Avraham Avinu to have a child, it's kel shakai. It's not kel shakai. Yeah, kel shakai. Kel shakai is the name. That's what's also like it's it's brought down in Shari Oyer and even the Nevi Melech brings down that Shaka is connected to Shaddai, which means the nurturing element. So therefore, it's connected to, to birth. It's a feminine. It's it's idea of birth. Moshe Rabbeinu, we're saying that Moshe is the Madrega of Moshe is the level of Ayin. Moshe is the Madrega of Ayin, which is my Ayin to Matzah. So he comes from the Madrega of Ayin. Ayin is the opposite of life, right? That's why Moshe is a Kvat Peh. So the Maral says, why is Moshe a Kvat Peh? Because Moshe is Bechin Shtika. Because Moshe cannot speak, not because he can't speak, because Moshe is in the Madrega, that he's a, he's a, he's nuni, he belongs in the ocean. In other words, he belongs in the mind. Speech is already an expression, externalization of something. Moshe is the Madrega of Shtoi Kacha Alubim Achshava, right? That's when Moshe receives the Torah from Rabbi Kiva, that Shtoi, because Moshe is the Madrega of Shtika. And Shtika, there's no Dibur. There can't be Dibur. Yet, paradoxically, Moshe is also Kel Shake, which is the fullness of life, which gives, life, which gives birth to life. And Moshe is by Daber, Moshe is called Varma Elo. Moshe becomes a Midaber. Moshe Daber became a Midaber. Moshe becomes a Yidaber, becomes a person of speech. Because the ultimate idea of Moshe Rabbeinu is that he's a Noisa Fachim. You could be an Ayin, but you're only Ayin. Right? But it, so then you're Madrega's Ayin. Then you're, then you're Madrega, that you're, 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 you're completely beyond nature. And you're not trying to have to give birth. But Moshe is the beginning of Shakai, which Moshe gives birth to Kali Yisrael. Moshe, call, Moshe calls himself, he, Moshe is the, is the Yonik. Moshe gives the, he says, Umar is a Yonik, Moshe Rabbeinu says. Which means Moshe Rabbeinu gives Kali Yisrael that, 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 that the Mon came to Moshe. The Mon is, is, is the Doimah to Tchal Which means that Moshe is a Rabbeinu that fed Kali Yisrael. So Moshe gives n- nurturing to Kali Yisrael, nurtures Kali Yisrael, births Kali Yisrael, and the Makis that, that Ari says, the Makis are the Chinnis Leda. Don't say that is all processes of Leda. So Moshe Rabbeinu brings down Lida's Klal Yisrael, which is the birth of Klal Yisrael. But Moshe is only also Mekusha connected to Madrega's Ayin. Madrega's Ayin has absolutely not, not, nothing. Is 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 completely is part of Nifrish He's not he's not shy to this world. You understand? But the real the, the real Nikudah is that Moshe Rabbeinu is actually both. That's the Madrega Moshe. Moshe was able to be soivel these these two afachim and to, not soivel to to, to noisa these, these two afachim because Moshe Rabbeinu in his own personal life. Represented the achtus Hashem in his life, the achtus between the guf and the neshama, the achtus between the, between the koyach aguli, the koyach, the finite koyach, and the koyach abilti balgul, because Moshe Rabbeinu embodied that koyach, dafke Moshe Rabbeinu ba'achav, the 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 bar abu choishech dafke came through Moshe. Not only did it come through Moshe bar abu choishech, but arba is Moshe's idea. 
If you look in the Torah, Barad, the Torah says, I'm going to Barad. Choyshech, the Torah says, I'm going to give Choyshech. Shere Masa. Arba, it says, Boyal Par, it doesn't say anything else. And the Yechvadi is like Par, and the next day, Moshe Rabbeinu says, I'm going to give Arba. The Torah says, I'm going to give Arba. There's a whole shayla, where this comes from. The Medrash says that he was intimate, and the Boyal Par, there's a Torah from the from Shim Shamsh Nasdapola in a second, that he says that Boyal Par is take the base Aleph, put it into the Perish Ayin. So if you take Bez and change it with Boy, Bez Aleph, change it with Bez is changed with a Pei, and Aleph is changed with an Ayin. So instead of Paroi, you have Arbe. So boy, take the letters boy and put it into paroi. Instead of paroi, you become arbe. That's why it says boy or paroi. doesn't do. It says boy or paroi when you have Boy or paroi. Boy or paroi. Do what? What's, what's, what's Moshe Rabbeinu supposed to do? Boy or paroi. He's supposed to take the... Okay, this is, this is all Torahs. But the Nekuda is that Moshe Rabbeinu was so dovok in this Nekuda of the of the Achtas Hashem that Moshe Rabbeinu became the instrument to reveal this, this Achtas Hashem. And here's finally a Torah from the Heliker of Shamsh Nastopoler. Which many chassidim and kabbalim say, what's this page? This last page. Oh, that's the. I got some money. Oh, this he brings that guy. If you look in the bottom over here, and that goes my minus. That um, um, oh, so, so the mom said, yeah, you see the lap. So first of all, he brings down the he brings down the shchin bar the shchin choyish. You see that the three things. But if you look at the mamish alat v'ni shemati kol amach la'asher the gematria mitzach hadash v'achal that the word asher kol amach la'asher sampi in the time loyasim alecha the word asher is gematria mitzach hadash v'achal. Ah, so Reb Shamshon Asta Paula brings it down. He brings it down b'shem Ari, even though already says in the in the rishonim goes mamish. So this is a famous letter of Shamshan Astapol, and it's a school to say in Erev uh, Pesach. And it's about a different, it's a, it's a, it's a very dense say, uh, thing. So he starts talking about different gematrias of different Malach Chabola that happened in Mitzrayim. But in Olenku Asar Nikar Tovkov Aleph, so that Darit says, Darit talks about a sar that's called Tovkov Aleph. So, so he says, Kavanos, if you rush the table, it shall ail as a marcus, a tzach, a dash, a chav, big matria, tof kufalev, kiminion, a sar mamish, or kiminion, usher. Ze, asher, ze, kwaid, go on, 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 because the, the, the Pasek is trying to maramas that the Tzach HaDash Machav is connected to the Asher. She also tells you in Esrik, which is not the Yashba Soydis Nefloim, the Koyl Lufim HaSadov. He's not going to say exactly what this Asher is. The last line is in Tovshin Tes Vov. The Rebbe brings down this, uh, the Rebbe Shara brought down this, this Absham Shas the Polar, and he said, it's a word, that it's, uh, it says the Tzach HaDash Machav be Gemati Asher. So most people can read it, Asher is Asher, because of. It says, no, Asher is Lashem Bashuri Kirshuni Bonis, Shuri Nartainat. That Asher is not Asher, but it's Asher. That, like, that way, Shuri Bonis, uh, uh, that it means it gives a, a wealth of, of, of Bonis. Asher, Shmena Lachme. Asher. That Asher, is, and it's connected to Ilma Tainat. So there's different understandings what this means. I think this, would, this means in the Megale in Yenene, we're trying to understand. Exactly. But also, also, Laman, <laughs> to say something, what we're talking about, it's connected with Kesef. That's the, yeah, it's like a Shvat. And Shvat happened, the, the, the Makas happened in Shvat. So we have to add the Tachet to the Sefer. According to the Medrash, the, the Makas started in Shvat. It's two Midrash, or it happened 12 months, or there were two weeks. If, they, if it happened two weeks, then Shvat other. Every two weeks, the eight Makas, and then Nisan was the last one. Um... That's like, oh, now what is Asher? What is Oil Matayim? Oil Matayim is what? It's Kesef. So this is what this is the word is. That Metzach Adash Bachav is Gematria Kesef. Why? Because the ultimate expression of Metzach Adash Bachav is to get the Boys Bachav. What's Bachav? Is Metzia Hashem. What's Metzia Hashem? Oil Matayim. What's Oil Matayim? Which we spoke many times. Yes, Ryan. Oil Matayim is the is the is the the noise of the Hafachim, the apparent Hafachim between the Yesh and the Metzia. And the imitzi is a creation, the existence and non-existence. Yeshim. That the the, the 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 combination. And Dafke Moshe Rabbeinu was able to draw down. Dafke Moshe was able to draw down these these makas.
this is the erech. What do you want to say? Today was a little. We didn't mamish. Go mamish in the kisari, but this is this is a, this is a, this is the ma'aseh. It's not a It's an ain kamoni. Ain yeah. is ain, and kamoni is like yeshes. Yeah, it's like ain. Ain yeah. kamoni is like a yeshes. Yeah. So Shlomo says a good pshat that ain kamoni. Ain kamoni that ain is ain, and kamoni is anoichi, but anoichi is actually kasa also. Anoichi is kimoini, 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 kimoyani. So there's there's a word that 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 anoichi is really ani. The part of says that anoichi is really ani. Ani generally is referred to malchus. So kiani means kesser. It's ki'ani, it, it, it shows itself as a metzias, but really it's a e-metzias. That also includes metzias. Ain kamani. So Ain is kamani. Correct? Si yishayin and metzias. Si yishayin and metzias. And no is alfachim. This is the axis. The axis. Ani v'ayin. Ani v'ayin. Zayin v'ayin v'ayin. That's my version. But it's ani v'ayin v'yachad. Yachad. Yeah. That's the no is alfachim. That's a makam arm enim al-midah. Makam arm enim al-midah. Pshat is not that if there's a gilu of a ness, then it breaks the middle of the of the of the arm, right? But here we're saying something else. There's a middle of the arm. The arm has middle, and the middle itself you can you can measure the middle of the arm. But when you put the arm in the base of middash, it's ainim in a middle. It's a nice alfachim. Not that it's. By the way, there's 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 a, there's a chuvas arashban. This is the end. The sefer ikim writes on on what can they middle that it's not mamish like this. It's it's poetic. You, you can't say it. it's poetic. It's not like Mokim Arim. It's, it's a poetic statement. Because what does it mean? If it's a midah, then it has a midah. If it's not midah, it doesn't have a midah. It says Mokim Arim in a minute midah. Right. So maybe the Mokim has the ability to create. Yeah, but the, the Mokim. that goes into it doesn't have a midah. But it does have a midah. The Arm has a midah. Right. But the Mokim creates that a thing that has midah, when it's in this place, like you're saying, it's not Mokim, yeah, but doesn't it's, have a midah. Yeah, but it does have a midah. When it's here, it doesn't. No, it no, sure does. If you went into the base of Migdash, this is the whole point. This is what you, if you went into the base of Migdash and you measured the arm, it had the, it had the Midas arm. If you measured from the arm to the sides, it would have the same measurement as if there was no arm. Right. So it's this is, Right. In other words, so the, the Bala Hikim, yes, it's more human. So the Bala Hikim says, it's a poetic way of saying that it's miraculous. Hmm. But, uh, but the Emma's, the real part is, this guy that there's a, there's a vote from Nishmas Chaim by Menashe Ben Yisrael when he says Chelak El Kalbi Mal Mamish. The Mal Mamish actually, even though it says in Tanya, but it actually says other Mukabal have already said it before. Even though Alter was very pushed the idea of Mamish, but it says Chelak El Kah. Even this word, forget about Mamish. I don't think it mentions Mamish before. But it's Chelak El Kah. Says it's a stim in Abraham. How could you say Chelak El Kah if it's a Lekah? It's not Chelak. Indivisible. You're saying it's it's infinite. It's a, it's a part of infinity. What do you mean part of it? If either it's infinite or it's not. So, so he says in the time, he says, and he brings on the Sefer Ikim, the Shubh Zarash, he says, the problem is you're trying to think with Seichel. You're trying to think rationally. You're trying to make sense out of this. So therefore, in the rational mind, it actually doesn't make any sense. You need something. You need some type of experiential right brain uh, experience to understand what we're talking about. We're, say, we're, not, we're saying this is the ultimate thing that contains the opposites at, at simultaneously. It actually, it's, it's fully this and totally not it. That's the Metzius Hashem. The Metzius Hashem is that the world, this is, Shema Yisrael Hashem, the Pesuch, Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu, so Shema Yisrael Hashem, what's Hashem? Hashem is infinity. That, ani Hashem. That's the first thing. Shema Yisrael is Hashem. Then you say Alekeinu, Pshate is, what is Alekeinu? Bekeru Baratz. Alekeinu. Then you say Hashem is Achad. Achz Hashem. Instead you're doing the same thing. You're doing Metzius, Hashgacha, Metzias Hashgacha, and Achdus. Shema Yisrael Hashem is infinity, is Metzias Hashem. Elekeinu is Hashgacha. Shemachad is is only, is only, is only one, is only one. And this is the Akara. So you go, you go step to step. The same, the same structure. Shema Yisrael, same three steps. It's the same three steps of the of the, of the Makis. Because that's that's the command of the Makis. The command of the Makis is a, the, to, to understand Kani Hashem, to understand Hashgacha. And the sun, there's absolutely no mitzvahs beside the Eishah. Ain't a move on. Finished. And once the world, once the person or the world, wherever state you are in the time, you can refine these three clippers within your own self. 
these these makas can 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 have some type of release of the own your inner trauma whatever that's blocking from all the revelation, and you're stuck into the asar asar the, the asar mamaris. And once you can open this up, you can see the asar sadibus. This is what this little chat is because these these things these the the, the makas broke open. That's what the Rizal talks about the clip of malchus, the clip of yisoy. What are we talking? We're talking about constriction, something that's not opening itself up. When there's an opening, the full opening of these asaris. Of the Asaris of Amakis, then it can be revealed. The Asaris Adibus. It's an automatic. And when there's no, you're just stuck by the Mamaras. And then there's no relationship. Right? But who am who am I? Maybe she said something. Who am I? Who am I? I have no relationship. Maybe she doesn't talk to me. That's the Ravad. Is that the Ravad? That's the Ravad. That's the Ravad. That's the Ravad. But the Ravad in a connection to the Ravad. In a relationship to the Ravad. The oil of Correct. Unlocked. Unlocked. And the Saras Makis unlocks the Mamoris to reveal the Saras Adibus. So can you say that the struggles we go through are unlocking our. That's, 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 that, that's, that's, feel that's, that's the whole word of the. That's, the, that's Mitzrayim. That's the Korah Barzal. That's the whole idea of Mitzrayim. What's the Kavanah what of Mitzrayim? What, what was the Kavanah of Mitzrayim? The highest level of Kavanah of Mitzrayim, it is Mitzrayim. Okay, so there's a lot of reasons. Chazal bring a lot of reasons why these seeds are signed. But, but the truth is, if you go back to the original story, Yedet Tere Kigeri Yazayacha, the Ebeshet tells Avram Avinu right away before the story, before any, before the Chet Merah, the Chet Yisrael Tzadik, before anything. Yedet Tere, why? Because Klal Yisrael, the Ebeshet is saying, I want to create a people that are going to believe in the miraculous. I want to create a people that don't are not subscribing to the natural world. Who's the first Yid that was born? Yitzchak. Yitzchak was born despite all odds. That's the definition of a yid. The yid represents the person that every, everyone says is impossible, and he says it's possible. That's where the birth of Yitzchak is. Same at Zigl Shulcha. The Yitzchak, the Yitzchak lechutzo, and by Yivimim Hashem, by Yichshavel Utzdaka. The Metzius of the yid represents that that schoik, that joke. What's the joke? The Vatischak liyemachim, the joke on creation. That's the birth of the first yid. Same thing with the birth of Klal Yisrael. Why do we have to go through this this process of Mitzrayim? We have to go because we have to be born as a people, not in a natural state. We have to break all the natural states that 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 could be in order to become a people. We have to we have to we have to destroy everything that that made sense in the rational world in order to become a people. Because we're supposed to be the people that represents the miraculous. And if we're not representing the miraculous, then okay, then we're just uh, But if we're if we're if we're connected to what we what we are, that we're connected to the inside from this. That's what we were created in that in that Matsyas. The whole the whole Matsyas of Kali so was was created. It's like where, where everything is says this way, Vani Oimer, the Majesty says, Vani Oimer, that it will be Ken Yiv Ken So it'll be like this. You say it's gonna be, I'm gonna destroy you. That's when we become a people. We become a people when we destroy. Well, what's the cycle? Because when everything's working against, then you can actually show that there's, there's, there's no power. There's no power besides Ain't the There's no power besides besides Aish. Right? When, you, when you get subscribed and you say, okay, we became a people, we were forged as a people, as a nation, we were sitting, you know, in, in uh, I don't know, in the, I don't know where it's like, real comfortable, in the Maldives, there was like a million people sitting there smoking cigars and decided, okay, let's make ourselves into a people. And we became, we forged, no, we became a people as slaves. Show the people, no one becomes a people as slaves. You become reduced as a people as slaves. You don't become a people as slaves. No, we do. We do. Because you say, no, we do the opposite. You say you need to be free to become a people. He said, no, we became people, we became Klal Yisrael, in Mitzrayim, in Avisaris, in the worst conditioning, under oppression. That's when we became a people. Told them we weren't a people. When does the Am Yisrael become an Am? When they're Yoyed the Mitzrayim. When, when the Shiva Nefesh is Yoyed the Mitzrayim. When, when the Shiva Nefesh represents the Am. The Am, the Am Yisrael. When does the Am become an Am? When you're Yoyed the Mitzrayim. You understand? It's the opposite. So sometimes the hard things are there only to break us out of our, of our small-minded Perception of what things are, so we can actually see Kadei Hashem. It was only Davishes. So Yesh my Ayin can only occur when the Yesh embraces the Ayin. I'm not. Uh, you go back. I mean, now. we we became a creation yes. in and of ourselves yes. from the destruction of the Yeshes of, of the Yeshes. Correct. Of of correct. We took a Yesh. We made correct. an Ayin correct. to become a Yesh. Correct. Correct. To come a Yemes a Yesh. Right. To reveal that every single yesh in this world which is really iron. Which is what you said last week also. Yeah. The moment you stop trying is when you're going to realize. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that's like, like the new... The new reality. Brand new, it's like, created. Brand new again. That's great. That's, great. that's, that's why it's all the 
Oh, it's come back from Paris. Yeah, yeah, Spray in the Hall of the Hornets. Spray, Spray in the Apps. Spray in the Apps, yeah, Spray in the Hall of the Hornets, I said. Same, I see. Yeah. 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 Why was scared of uh, the the lawyer says because it was a tan la god was even the lawyer passed boy. It was it was a big rivets of that much of was scared because it was such iris. It's very the whole world. It was like it was always built in glue building. You have to just draw it out of fire. That was the whole thing. If you break that koyach, then you see it's it's infinite. Sometimes the biggest monsters. This is what this is what the story says. Sometimes the biggest things that you're scared of is actually the things that has the most iris. It's the stop being afraid of. That's what David says, Boyapari, Boyapari, what's Boyapari? So he says that the, the, the David tells Boy I'm gonna come with you. Because really he says Lecha Pari. You should go to Pari. What's Boyapari? Come to Pari. Where's where's Pari? I'm telling you to go go someplace. He don't say come. Mm-hmm. Come to, to Levi. Why don't you come to Levi? Go to Levi. But if I say come means I'm standing next to Levi, come. So the Zoya says, that's what David is telling Moshe Rabbein. I'm there. Come there. You'll see I'm there. Boy Pari, come to Pari. Don't be afraid. You think it's a big tan in the river, it's, it's, it's a big scary monster, it's a dragon. Come there, you'll realize it's me. But the, the whole Nukud is, is, the, is, is to break that open, to break open that, that clip and see, to see the boyer and everything. <laughs>